Well, we haven't really been, like, talking much. I'm, I'm worried that the communication isn't there anymore. She never talks to me about things, and it's like we've, we've lost our sisterly bond. Like, I can't, I can't even tell when she's mad at me or anything anymore. Hey, how are you doing? I don't know, it's really weird, like these moods, I just, I can't predict them anymore. Like, her eating habits? <laughs> They're just totally off balance. I'll come home and she won't have eaten anything all day. And this happens, like, all the time. That's weird, right? Yeah, it's, it's weird. When she writes me notes to go to the store, like, buy stuff, I can't even read them. It's, it's weird. I mean, I don't know if, like, she's being bullied at school, or she doesn't like school, or if her teachers are bad, or what, but it just, it's just not there, or something. And, like, getting out of the house, forget it. I mean, I've got a great social life. But she never has like, people over, she's never going out. There's something wrong there. It's like she's not putting forth the effort to go and meet people. So like, how do I say this? Just, she's a pretty girl. She has a nice face. She just needs to learn how to accentuate it right. Makeup's not that hard, really. I mean, I'd be willing to teach her. I just don't think she's ready yet. When I have my friends, oh my gosh, it's so weird, like, it makes me really uncomfortable to have her over as, at the same time as my friends. I mean, I love my friends, but I don't think they understand. She creeps them out. And when I come home and find her, like, staring at a box, It's embarrassing to call her my sister. I mean, what is she doing with those boxes? I just want her to be happy.